What a beauty we have here, a 1963 Chevy Impala Super Sport. It's a genuine Super Sport, stunning restoration. The quality is off the charts. has an original 327 motor, uh, automatic air conditioning, power steering, upgraded with power disc brakes, uh, bucket seats. It's just got a lot going on. I'm going to show it all to you in just a second. The restoration is beautiful, though. Clean car, even the undersides, all redone. Go to volocars.com, and that's where you can look at photos top to bottom, read all the information about the car, and that's where you'll catch the price tag along with the monthly finance option. Our bank will uh, go about 12 years with only about 10% down on most cars. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next video is posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, you walk up to this car, it's beautiful. I bought it in North Carolina, and uh, you, know, you know what caught my eye. It's a red on red, it's sparkling, and the more I looked at it, it's like, oh, I definitely gotta get this car. Um, so underneath, everything's redone. It looks like a body off frame restoration. The metal is exceptionally nice. The frame, the chassis components, not pitted. The floors are just smooth as can be. They're not banged up. They're not pitted. They're not, you know, undercoated. It's just the nicest, cleanest metal you'll see under there, all painted like a semi-gloss black. Up front, the suspension and steering was all rebuilt, and it looks fresh and clean, and, you know, the nuts and bolts and bushings all look nice and fresh. The rear suspension's rebuilt. Uh, it has a real nice dual exhaust system with the old cherry bomb glass pack mufflers. You'll hear that towards the end of the video. And it's bent nicely along the X frame. They did a good job. The brake system all rebuilt. It's upgraded to disc in the front. The brake lines, hoses were replaced. The e-brakes all hooked up. Fuel system was all replaced. The tank, the lines, sending unit. You look up at the motor, it's real clean Chevy orange. The correct canister type oil filter, the correct starter, all looks nice and clean. The Power Glide automatic transmission, uh, all clean. I'm sure that's been out and redone. The seal at the back of it looks new, it's just all fresh. It has its original rear end with 308 gears in it. It's dated to this car. So underneath the car is really impressive. Now the body on the car is also very impressive. Now, 63, the roof is excellent, and it has these two body lines here. It's to resemble the top bows of a convertible. Just gives it a convertible look. Uh, but anyway, it's all in excellent shape. Look at this gap here, spot on, smooth, flush. Oh, I just barely push it, and the door opens. That's, that's nice. I like that. That sells me on a car a lot of times. Nice and clean, absolutely straight. Outstanding fit, laser beam straight, lines up beautifully, absolutely straight. No bubbles, no issues, no cracking, no body work showing. This is all outstanding body. All of this is amazing. Lines up beautifully. Same thing, hardly any effort to open or close it. Oh, we got. What do we got going on here? I spoke too soon. There we go. I think it was just in between mode. Uh, but the body, and the gaps are outstanding. All clean metal, outstanding body. Now the paint, bright red, beautiful paint. When you walk up on it, you're not going to see uh, what I'm about to tell you. But there are little bubbles in areas you know, in various areas around the car, like here's a spot where there's little bubbles. Across the hood, that looks really nice. There's just a few here and there. So there was something happened when they painted the car, some sort of reaction that gave it like right up here some little bubbles. So there are some areas where that's going on, like right along in here, some right up here is a few. But the paint shows really well. And I seen that before I bought it. I still bought it anyway just because the rest of the car was so impressive. And I don't think people are going to really 
uh, notice it or say anything. It's just beautiful, especially out in the sunlight. Uh, and it's polished like a mirror. You can see the reflection. It's like red glass. Now, what really puts it over the top is the trim as well. All this stainless trim, this stuff's polished like chrome. And that little bit of extra sparkle really makes it. Uh, this rear window, I'm going to say, is new. It's crystal clear. The gasket's soft. It has the rear mount antenna, the correct one. That looks new. The SS has this machine turn trim. It has the round tail lights everyone loves. It all looks new. All this trim, the bumper, is bumper guards. That's an option. The SS emblem, the optional fuel door trim, and then the moldings down the side also have this machine turn trim in here. That's on the Super Sport only. And that's all beautiful and new. Optional rocker moldings are straight and shiny. See the chrome guard behind the door handle? It's a fingernail guard, uh, also sparkling. All of this just glistening. Even the window frame, the rubber around is soft. Bow tie mirrors on both sides. New windshield. All this is just sparkling, beautiful. Has the grill guard, the grill. The chrome, the emblem, all of that's just gorgeous. So unfortunately, it does have some bubbles in the paint. But again, the rest of the car is so good. Uh, SS hubcaps, 14-inch uh, wheels, black painted rims. The hubcaps look to be in great shape. They look like they're new with radial tires. Now let's open it up. I'm going to show you a beautiful interior. Okay, now to give you an example of what I'm talking about, here's some bubbles like right in this area here. Now, if you look across the trunk lid, it's beautiful. But there are several areas that I just pointed out there uh, on the car with those bubbles. Now, the trunk compartment is beautiful. Look at the underside. It's painted smooth and slick, working trunk light. The jam is smooth and slick. The weather strip is replaced. And the whole trunk compartment is clean metal with a nice... Uh, tidy gray and white spatter finish. Now you can see it has a matching painted rim with a matching fifth tire. It's never been used for a spare. And we've got fender skirts. Some people like them, some don't. They go right on the car if you like them. Uh, this here just has some extra you know, quartz of oil. And uh, we also have a jack over on that side. It all came with the car, so it's going to go with the car. New insulation behind the seat. Uh, a beautiful trunk compartment. Hopefully you can understand why I bought this car. The, the rest of the car is just amazing. I just rolled up the window. All the glass is new. Uh, door jams are painted slick. There's a piece of duct tape in that door jam. We'll peel that off. I don't know what that's for. Weather strips are replaced. Look at the door panel, like brand new. It's straight. Armrests, the handles, the window cranks, all of that is replaced. The dash area is beautiful. Um, has the machine turn trim, again, part of the SS. The metal's painted nice. Has a dash pad that's optional. Has a retro stereo system with upgraded dual speakers up here in the grill. The air conditioning is neatly added down below. They use the original looking controls, but these are electric now. They're easy to slide. You got real nice red carpet. Uh, reproduction mats. The center console looks brand new. Look at that. It's beautiful. Steering wheels restored. Bucket seats. They're all rebuilt and cushioned and beautiful. And the chrome is beautiful. The backs of them are beautiful. Back seats all redone. There's seat belts front and back. Side panels. All real nice. All new white headliner with the stars embossed. So you look up at the stars, working dome lights, matching visors. The mirror is new. Beautiful interior, exceptional interior. Yeah, as you're starting to say, all the glass is new and all the frames around the windows are new. So that is the uh, correct 327 motor, the correct codes and dates, uh, stock manifolds. 
is upgraded with a dual feed Holly carburetor with electric choke. Has the heat shields around the spark plugs, the ground strap. And it is updated with a vintage heat and air system. You can see how nice and clean all the metals painted. Has spring clamp battery cables. The battery is secured. Upgraded aluminum radiator with the correct shroud. Washer fluids, bottles hooked up. It's got power steering. It's got an updated power brake system. Just very clean and tidy and proper. pack mufflers. The idle is real nice and smooth. It's that nice raspy sound. How's that for a shiny bright red paint job out in the sunlight? I'm telling you, this is a very high quality restoration. Look at the chrome frames. I just rolled the windows up. Look how nicely they fit, even the vent window frames. I mean, someone really took this apart and did it right. Actually, the guy says he spent $75,000, about 2,000 miles on it since it's been restored. Um, gorgeous car, highly optioned, pleasure to drive, ready to go to the cruise night. <laughs> You can go to volocars.com and talk to the salesman. They'll answer the rest of your questions, including how to get this delivered to your door and how to get financed. That's at volocars.com to get started. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe and then you got to click the bell icon so you're notified when a new one's posted. Thanks for watching.